Hey guys, this is F16 Rhino Gaming. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Today I'm going to show you a tow truck that just came out today. Um, it is from Winston Mobs. Basically, he came out and he made a tow truck. It's a remake of a Farm Simulator 15 tow truck that they had out. But currently, this is only the second tow truck that they've made. So I think there's a lot of detail on it. I think it looks really good. I haven't seen the Farm Simulator 15 one, but honestly, what does it matter? This one looks great. So as you can see, it's got the dual stacks, so you can see all the nice smoke coming up. You know, good for the EPA, good for the population, but regardless of that. It's got the awesome light bar that's working up a storm right now. It's got the side lights. It's also got uh, eight by eight wheels, which works really well. I've already used it a couple times in different scenarios. It's got the different turn signals, so he did really good on that mod. He didn't take any shortcuts on it. also got it set up so that he's got the toolboxes on the side, which I think is really cool. And one of the things I would have done with that is I would have definitely made it so those could, could open so you could actually see the levers for the actual hydraulics. Do you need it? Not really. But it would have added to the mod and it would have made it look really cool. One of the other things that he has is he's got the uh, supports that you can bring out. So you got the ones that can actually come out to the side and then you got the ones in the back so you don't skid if you're actually uh, winching someone up. Unfortunately, there is no winch on this tow truck, but hopefully in the future he will listen to this video and maybe use like the same thing as the chain. So Lambo Mods came out with a chain that you can actually connect to construction um, items. He has construction material. You can actually lift those construction lift the construction material up in the air based on the certain points they attach to the rear of the actual vehicle and it works really well. So from here, you can actually see the lifts that he has. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you guys is the actual tire lift. So if you guys are having issues with that, this is where I'm going to try to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on that. Because I had a lot of issues in the beginning, but now I don't. So I just push 7. 7 is what you use to actually, on the keypad, on your uh, number lock keypad. That's how you actually bring that up. And then number 9 is how you actually extend that tire lift all the way out horizontally. Once you've done that, you're going to push 8 in order to lift up, and then you're going to push Z in order to lock it to the vehicle. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to back up to a vehicle. I'm going to show you guys how to actually hook it up. Um, it's a little difficult when you're first trying to, trying to get it to work. This is the same concept with the F-350 flatbed that they have. Obviously, you're not going to be able to pull as big of a vehicle, or at least not very effectively. But with this one, it should work with most of the different vehicles that are in game. And maybe some of the mods, I'm not sure. I haven't really tried it. I figured I'd try with the standard vehicles that were already in the game. So you can already see that I've pushed number 9 on the keypad and it, it brought my uh, my arm back farther so I didn't have to back up to the truck as far. I lifted up the vehicle and then when you see that pop, that's when I've already hit Z. Now what Z does is it locks the vehicle on. As you can see, it's all locked on right there. It's, I've got the I-beam. Those are my Lambo mods, if you guys are wondering where I got that from. And then the trailer. I'm not sure who the actual uh, modder is who made the trailer. Personally, I don't necessarily like the trailer. I only used it for this video because I thought it looked kind of cool. But uh, he needs he has some more work for it. Uh, one of the things I don't like about it is that the uh, tie-downs don't work on the I-beam. But that's for another video. We're not going to talk too much about that today. So I'm hopping in the vehicle, going to turn on the hazards, make sure all the hazard lights are working. As you can see, we're all locked in. Going to hop in the truck, and we should be able to take off right there. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this mod. Once again, that's Winston Mods who made this mod. He did an excellent job on the mod. He's got a little bit of stuff that I'd fix, but not too bad for the first heavy record that came out. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Leave a comment. Tell me what you guys want me to do for my next video. 